Welcome to Review Every Ship by CitizenCon 2024. Here we begin our series where we will update and rate every single ship and vehicle in the game. We can't do it alone. Comment down below what you think are the best and worst things about the ship we're reviewing. Add some helpful tips and share your rating from 1 to 10. 10 being the highest, of course. The point is to give an update on every ship since some haven't had a video made about them in years. We'll go in depth, but we won't repeat everything on the RSI website. We will link to multiple sources of information, either in the description or in a pinned comment. We start our series with the Aegis Manufacturer, and we are now at the Hammerhead. The Aegis Hammerhead is a fast subcapital patrol gunship bristling with six manned quad length turrets. These, cur these turrets are optimized for anti-fighter and anti-ordnance work and grant the ship an unparalleled ability to put up a hailstorm of firepower that swiftly removes smaller aerospace threats. The hammerhead is thus well suited for supporting larger capital ships in a fleet or to act as a general patrol vessel in lower intensity theaters. The hammerhead has the third highest ship hull HP in the game, but it also has one of the slowest movement speeds in the game. The hammerhead has a crew of minimum three and maximum nine. I would more so say that that crew is probably five minimum. You could run it with three, but honestly, I wouldn't even run this ship unless I had all nine members of the crew and probably 10 or 11 just to be safe this is one of those few ships where its might is when it's fully crewed and when it's under crewed it really doesn't have the same might so it can carry 40 scu its scm speed is 105 its max speed is 1000 the hammerhead has eight size 5 missile racks six size five man turrets so the hammerhead is extremely slow but it has one of the best hull hps in the game so that's kind of a balancing act there and then also when it comes to parts the hammerhead has a medium radar two medium computers two large power plants two large coolers two large shield generators two medium fuel in tanks two large fuel tanks one large quantum drive one large jump module and one medium quantum fuel tank so what is what does this mean here right it means it's meant to take a lot of damage it's supposed to be a defensive ship because it is slow has high hull hp and and two large shield generators is nothing to laugh at but it's also only got a medium quantum fuel tank so it's not meant to go very far away from a fleet or away from a planet it's it can take one or two trips but that's pretty much it it's very much so meant to it's supposed to either sit and protect or move and patrol that's really what this ship is for it's not very maneuverable and one of the things that's going to be key for this ship can you get your guns where they need to be can you aim them is your pilot good enough to get your guns where they need to be so that all these turrets are on point so time to give this ship a rating i rate from one to ten but my one is a little different my one is only only buy if you have a unique reason that is specific to you or for looks and my 10 is if you have the money this ship is almost guaranteed to be useful to you in the game excellence achieved all right so it's not a one mean meaning that the ship is just useless and nobody should ever buy it it just means you need a unique reason or a specific reason to you in order to buy it uh, and my 10 doesn't mean it's a perfect ship it just means you will definitely find a use for it um, and i would say it's just excellence as far as its design and more not just its design so that's my rating system again my ones are not terrible and my tens are not perfect thanks i rate the aegis hammerhead a six you can easily find a use for this ship regardless of value however there is a clearly more useful upgrade available or coming my opinion it's an expensive anti-fighter sub capital gunship get a redeemer I'm not seeing why anyone should have a hammerhead unless you can fully crew it. 
and even when you can fully crew this i still might say get a perseus i just can't say that until the perseus is in game i wouldn't buy one of these though until i could see how it stacks up against the perseus like i said third highest in game hull hp slowest in game fighting <laughs> ship really and it's one of those ships where i'll say this i think you should get it if you always run with a full crew and i would say that's nine ten people nine minimum if you have nine people that you can always get get into this ship with if you're in an org an active org or you have nine people you can always get into a ship with the hammerhead is phenomenal because you can man every single one of those turrets you can have two missile operators and you can run the ship you can have an engineer it will work phenomenally if it is fully crewed anything less than that do not run the hammerhead it's run it fully crewed or not at all and that's my opinion on the aegis hammerhead that's it for this one see you in the next one peace